Hello everyone, this is Mohammed. In this session, today I'm going to show you how to use the Spar and ISPIS software to use with a ESX server as a data store. Nowadays, the virtualized hardware reduces the PC for many applications. Using the Spar and ISPIS hardware from Windows will further enhance this virtualized resources. Uh, let me explain my infrastructure. Well, I have a vCenter server installed in Windows 2003 machine and I have uh, uh, two ESX servers, that is ESX 4.0, that is ESX test 1 and ESX test 2. So this is my, all about my lab infrastructure and uh, I am going to install the solvent a free iSCSI a target software where I downloaded it for free. I'm going to install and show you how to configure and use with the ESX server. Let's start the installation. So this is my solvent software, iSCSI software. Where as you know, it's the same as the Windows, go to next, next, next. Well I'm gonna install the C. Yes. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Install it. Go for the defaults, create a desktop icon, install it. So, uh, usually what Star does is, well, VMware ESX servers needs a desk uh, to store the settings of the virtual machines and uh, virtual hardware to install a guest voice. Uh, with the Star Win, you can share a virtual desk for storing these virtual machines. Where the Starwind software provides storage services to the VMware yes, side that is going to create a virtual desk on the VCN server in our case. The image file devices create a virtual SCSI drive using a space of a physical hard disk on the machine where it is created, where in our case it is our VCN server. So the resulting iSCSI storage will have the same structure as a physical hard disk. Well, Let's see the steps how to go and install it. When an image file that is a virtual hard disk device is mounted using an iSCSI initiator, it will appear as a standard hard disk to the computer on which where it is mounted. Let's see. Oh, you got install. Let's go and finish and open up the console. It's opening the management console of iSCSI Star and software. Well, let's see this. Okay, go ahead. So, as I install in the local machine, so local IP range, click on OK. Now, right click the host has been hard here. Well, click on connect rule. Well, provide your credentials. To connect to the particular server. Yes, okay. Yeah, the host has been successfully connected. So, right click on the target, click on our target where we can provide the target name whatever we want. So, I'm going to create a uh, ESX storage one. That's fine. Click on next. What I'm going to use, uh, there are multiple options like we can use with a hard disk or optical drive or tape drive. So I'm going to use a hard disk whether we can export a physical or a virtual hard disk. So I'm going to use a basic virtual disk. Next, where obviously means for option. Okay, go ahead and next. Uh, I'm going to create a new virtual hard disk. Yeah, let's create a new virtual hard disk. Go to next. Specify the location where you want to create. I'm going to select E, star and targets. Specify the name that is ESX storage 1. Okay. I'm going to use a 40 GB here. 40 GB. Okay. Go to the default option. Select. Guys. Please concentrate on the section because this is very very important part by creating the target because uh, if uh, it will not search to any option in this page it won't allow the multiple ESX server to save to share the same uh, target, ICC targets because um, 
just read this option allow multiple concurrent iSCSI connection so we have to we have select this option to use with the e6 multiple e6 server please do remember to select this option allow multiple concurrent iSCSI connection it's used for clustering purposes okay go ahead and next give the default next finish it let's finish this so now we have a target creator which is called ESX storage one access rights and all we'll keep it as all connection all target which will be allowed so I'm going to show you how to provision this particular storage add this particular storage to the ESX server let's go to the first ESX storage test one click on the ESX storage go to the configuration tab Go to the storage adapters. So you'll see a uh, iSCSI software adapter. Click here. Go to the properties. Oh, what it says? You should know that this VM kernel network has not been configured. Yes, that is. Let's configure it. Go to the ASIC storage one. Let's add one vm kernel port because the vm kernel port is very important to use uh, for the storage and uh, vmotion to work it's major purposes of this no need to well i want to use this for vmotion and for tantrums yes for the ip address 192.168.0.120 oh, yeah it's 255 255 255 at all well my default gateway is 192 168 click on ok so now our vm kernel port has been added with our standard switch it's showing that vm kernel port 192 168 120 finish this go and configure the same with the ESX test one so we are going to configure the same option with the ESX2 let's close this and we're going to configure the same and uh, my E62 King uh, properties and a VM kernel port. Yeah, use the same for VM kernel for our login. Yes. Well, IP address is 192.168.0.2.130. Let's configure 242 by 2 Edit at one ninety two one Okay, go ahead, finish. Now we have configured the VM kernel ports in both our E6 servers. Let's go back to the E6 server and configure the storage bar. Yeah, close it. Go to the E6 one. Go to the configuration. Well, storage adapters. Go to the iSCSI software. Click on the properties. So by default it is disabled. So we go to create. Before that, I want to tell you one option. Always go to the <laughs> security profile. Click on the properties. Before doing this, by default, the software is because client. This port has to be opened in the ES6 server to use the shared storage. Well, software is because client. I'm going to enable this. Now go back to the storage adapters and we do the find. So now the software is because it's been the port 
it has been added in the outgoing connections. Let's go to the star. Click on properties. It's by default. It's disable. Click on the configure. Just click on enable. Okay. Take some time to enable it. We change the status to enable. If you see in the task, yeah, it's enabled now. Let's go to the dynamic discovery and add the Starwind iSCSI target server IP address that is 192.168.0.100. That is our vCenter server IP address. It's had here. Yes, click on close. It will ask for the rescan of host best adapter. It's a convention. Uh, click on yes to rescan the adapter. Uh, rescanning the HBA. Rescan the HBA. It's in the progress. So while rescanning, we will be able to see uh, what are the devices has been uh, added here. Just click here. There is a target which connector devices and paths. Now what you have to do is go back to the storage. If you have to add the particular storage, select disk or LAN, click on next. The particular storage will be visible here. When you see the path ID, it's ESX storage one, what we have created in iSCSI target server. Click on next. Well, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Python will be used to provide the ESX storage name. I'm going to give ESX storage one. Click on next. This is for a block size. I'm going with the default size. Okay, finish it. Creating a VMF data store for us. The six storage one is coming up. Okay, let's go to the here and do the second. The six two properties. It's the same step where we did in the ASX server 1, we have to perform the same step in ASX server 2 also. So, currently we are opening up the firewall port for iSCSI client, software client, yeah, software iSCSI client has been enabled here. Let's go to the storage adapters, I'll click on the software, adapter, click on properties, configure, enable it. So software is can see adapter we are enabling at this time. So it's all the steps are similar in well, how many years six server. It doesn't mean how many years six server you wanna add the particular data store. It's all the same steps we are config here. Go to the dynamic directory, sorry, dynamic discovery, add the IP address of ISCC target server that is our vCenter server 192.168.0.100. Okay, click on OK. Yeah, that's been added here. It last to rescan, click on yes. scan of host bus adapter is going on in progress yeah it's completed let's click here in software storage one path has been directed uh, okay go to the storage uh, yeah it's already there because we have already added here and added so now what test one and ESX test two both have the same ESX storage one so now here you go, you can play with your vMotion and what are the functionality you want to use with the shared storage. This is the procedure to create 
ISCAS is target and use a particular target with the E6 server as a data store. I hope. Thank you very much. Bye bye.